So yesterday was my mother's 77th birthday. And I've never introduced you to my mom, my dad, or my sister. So we all took my mother to dinner last night at her choice of restaurants, and my entire family is there. So yesterday was my mother's 77th birthday. And this is like my 300 and something... <laughs> He always tries to steal the show, but he doesn't want to be in the camera. This is like my 300 and something video at this point, and I've never introduced you. Are you serious? And I've never introduced you to my mom, my dad, or my sister. You all have seen glimpses of them when we're coming and going or at Thanksgiving dinner, or you saw my sister walk in the house and leave, or you saw the back of my dad's head when we were riding on a golf cart. <laughs> oh, God, Pollock stirred up all of his dog hair. We are going to have to get... <coughs> Thanks, Pollock. But you've never actually been formally introduced to my family. So, we all took my mother to dinner last night at her choice of restaurants, and my entire family is there. So, I want you to watch the video of what happened at dinner. You're going to get to meet my family, and then I'm going to meet you back here to tell you what really happened at dinner, what you don't see in the video. Because, you know, if you're not used to videoing things when you're out in public, stuff happens so quickly. I just didn't catch them on camera because I'm not sitting there the whole time with my camera on. I'm enjoying dinner with my family. I'm trying to eat, but all of this funny, stupid stuff happened, so I'm going to meet you back here. I'm going to tell you really how our night went down, so I'll see you after dinner. It's my mama's birthday. She's 77 today. We're going out to dinner with all the family, and you're going to get to meet my mom, my dad, and my sister. Everybody you've been wanting to meet for the past three years is going to be at dinner tonight. Yes, I'm in my closet. I'm trying to get dressed. It has gotten so cold outside, and I just got this new flannel shirt on Amazon. It showed up today. It's adorable, so I'm trying to decide if this is what I'm going to wear to dinner. We're going to Longhorn Steakhouse. It was my mother's choice. It's her favorite restaurant, and we got to be there at 530. So, let's get dressed quick, and we're going to go to a little birthday celebration. Say hi, Briley. Everybody knows Hello. you. Briley. Hey, you don't have to speak. Just wave. It's another mountain. Where is it? Oh, there's two down there. Mm. Yeah, one piece, buddy. Because you don't need to buy it. Good idea, Blake. You want cheeseburger and plain? Yeah. How do you want it? Maybe it will. Yeah, Matthew passed us and was like hanging out with the boy. Ride the bull. Is it home? Yeah, I thought it was going to be a hundred. <laughs> I guess since you had your pork chop last night. Yeah, I know. We had to take it out of yours. <laughs> he got Josh downstairs with Josh's hot nature. Oh, God. And then now Laura's upstairs and she's hot nature. She's hot nature. <laughs> Oh, nice. Perfect. Yes. What? She's like, what is it? Well, I'm... Really Diva wash. Turn it around. You need what? need a smell? I bought this spray before. It is for you is that to wash that? your is sheets. She... Yeah. Turn around. Let me see. So good. Let me see. Okay, yeah. It's not good. Turn it around. Turn it around. Yeah. Put it on your sheets. So good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Dad, you have to use that. You wash the sheet. You just use a little bit, though. Yeah, strong. Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. 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 Okay, you got the burger. Oh, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. That's not the middle. Let's see it. You can't see it with your hands. Wow. And that's what the 12 year old ordered. Yeah. Hey, that's bigger than your head. Did y'all know that little cup No, I just let him order whatever he wanted. It's called the stampede or something. So, y'all want to meet my sister? This is my sister. Hello. 
Jennifer. Jennifer. Jen. We call her G for short. Lots She's, of nicknames. Lots of nicknames. The story <laughs> is when Kendall was a baby, my oldest daughter, she couldn't say Jen or Jennifer, so she called her G. G. And it stuck. So she's just G. Just she's G. been G for 25 years. Mm -hmm. Yep. So well, we got the curls. We have the curls. Five years mm -hmm. difference. I'm five years older. But, you know. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday. Happy Are birthday. You, she's getting in the car. <laughs> <laughs> she got around quick. She did. Uh -huh. But this uh, is my sister. Bye. G. Warm up. That's Hello, it. everybody. Hello. <laughs> so that was dinner with the family. I didn't get to talk to you all very much inside Longhorn Steakhouse because it was so loud and it was freezing cold. Everybody was freezing. But we had a good dinner. We celebrated my mother's 77th birthday. You all got to see my mom and my dad and my niece and my nephew. And then now you've met my sister, I think. Oh, you saw my brother-in-law, Charlie, in there too. Um, but that was birthday celebration. We have a small family. It's just me and my sister. My kids weren't there. They're all grown and gone. So it's just us, right, babe? Just us. Just us. Oh, I am for reason. Okay, so thanks for going to birthday celebration with us. See you later. So what really happened at the restaurant during my mother's 77th birthday dinner? First of all, I had to ask my family if they minded me filming my mother's dinner. <laughs> Pollux, can you please quit that? My mom said, uh, you can film me very quick. Don't ask me questions. I'm not going to talk to you. Same for my dad. They're like, no way, but you can, you know, pan by and show us in the video. So that is why you didn't actually get to speak to my mom or dad. And then after dinner, I was going to talk to my sister and introduce her and introduce her to you all standing out front of the restaurant. It was hard to do in the restaurant. It was noisy and it was very dark in there. Not a great interview environment. So I was talking to her on the sidewalk out front of the restaurant the light was horrible. We had just started talking and I was going to try to get a quick glimpse of my mother and tell her happy birthday and hug her goodbye and have Randy film that. While I look up, my dad's in the car, my mom's in the car, she's got her hand out waving, see ya, and they take off. So that was kind of that. But in the restaurant, we got all situated. You all know my niece, Briley, my nephew, Caden. You now see my sister and that's my brother-in-law, Charlie. And then there's my mom and dad. And of course, Randy's with me. I don't know that you saw too much of Randy because he was kind of sitting behind me the whole night. Randy did not feel well. He has a kidney stone. He'd been to the doctor earlier in the day. He was worried about the kidney stone. Um, but good news is the kidney stone came out yesterday. Peed it right out. <laughs> so I don't know that Randy wanted me to share that. But yeah, the kidney stone is gone. And the funny thing is, he actually sent me a picture of it. So I saw the kidney stone with my very own eyes. But during dinner, number one, Randy didn't feel well. So he was super quiet and kind of stayed to himself. Number two, our meals were not great. I had the roasted Brussels sprouts. They were hard as a rock. I could barely eat them. My niece, Briley and my brother-in-law, Charlie, were going to share this big ribeye. And so my brother-in-law, you saw it in the video, he got it on his plate and he was cutting off sections and giving it to Briley, who had ordered a side of mac and cheese. That, by the way, never showed up until we were basically finished with dinner. So she's just sitting there eating pieces of steak that my brother-in-law is doling out to her across the table. Well, at one point, he gave her a pretty good chunk and we all heard her say, oh crap, I dropped my steak. The steak fell off her fork as she was putting it on her plate into the floor. So there was that. And then on top of all that, it was literally freezing inside the restaurant. They had, I guess, the air conditioner blasting, but it was like 65 degrees outside. We were all in long sleeves. You saw me in a flannel shirt. We were freezing. Everybody was just dying to eat and get outside, which we did super fast. But the manager of the restaurant came over and said to us, it looks like y'all are celebrating something here. I don't know if he knew that. Maybe my sister kind of tipped him off because she got to the restaurant before me. I need to ask her that. But yes, we were celebrating my mom's birthday. So we told him that. And he said, oh, well, birthday girl, you get a free dessert on the house. Here's your choices. Which one do you want? She picked a strawberry cake. When this strawberry cake showed up, it was gigantic, but my mother loved it. She ate everybody to the strawberry cake. Well, the waitress came over after the strawberry cake had been delivered to our table and asked the rest of us, 
or so we thought, if anybody wanted dessert. I mean, honestly, I don't think a lot of people heard her. I heard her, but I didn't say anything. But the waitress was standing at the end of the table next to Caden. And apparently Caden said, I want dessert. We didn't realize he ordered dessert. He ordered something called the Texas Stampede, which on the menu, the description of it is like, gigantic dessert, we'll feed your table, six pieces of chocolate cake and six scoops of ice cream and some kind of ridiculous description. Well, nobody heard Caden order this huge dessert. So we're waiting on our checks and here comes the waitress and plops down this gigantic dessert in front of Caden and my sister goes, did you order that? Did you understand what you were ordering? I don't know. Maybe you had to be there. It was hilarious, but we all dug into this huge dessert. And then before I knew it, we were out of there. My mom and dad were in the car and I was trying to talk to my sister and that was that. And when I got home to start editing the footage that I took last night, I recorded a whole segment of Randy and I in the car actually heading to dinner. I got a new phone and apparently I didn't hit record because uh, I don't have any of that footage. So it was like two minutes of stuff that I, I didn't have. <laughs> but happy 77th birthday to my mama. And I want to give a huge, gigantic shout out to all of my new channel members. Yay! I love you so much. Thank you to Jean Lorimer, Connie Frank, Mary Van, Kelly Blue Jones, Lori Hawkins, Adele Tolino, Denise, Sugar and Penny the Pooh, Cindy Edmonds, Meta, OB Joyful, Sherry Franklin, Leah Dadamo, Jamie Foster, Michelle Ortega, S-U-W-N, Evelyn McDonald, Janie F, Annette Norwood, James L, Miss Sam 66 OK, and Susie Davis. Thank you so much for joining my channel memberships. I truly, truly appreciate you. You are the reason that I'm able to do Vlogtober on my channel, to have time at home so that I can create content, which takes me hours and hours to do because I truly care about the quality of the content that I put out on my channel, and that's why I appreciate you so much. See you later.